Hey guys, I'm eating a snack. Yeah, I, I film most of these videos in the same day. So, you know, not like I do. Okay, one day. I mean, okay, I'll do the, some the next day. You know, nah, I don't do that. But, um, I'm gonna talk about my cops. Oh, it's already at 30 seconds. Yes, that's right. No, no, I'm hungry. Man, I don't know. Gotta finish these videos first. At least I should, so. Mega Man's like, oh man. Oh man, this guy left me out for a couple of episodes, yo. So Mega Man's all like trying to be nice to the people. They're all like, all scared of them, cause all the robot masters are destroying everything. You know, Capcom. You know, Capcom really makes cool games like Strider, Phoenix Wright, Ghost Trick, all that stuff, and it's pretty cool in this. And, um, yeah, so Mega Man, like, tries to beat first Bomb Man. Bomber Man? Do, do, do. Oh, I should have brought out one of my uh, cool figures of Bomber Man. That'd be cool. And it would make my joke even funnier. So Mega Man destroys Bomb Man, and he realized. He realizes that he's able to take his power. So next he goes to Guts Man. I got guts from Mega Man Powered Up. <laughs> Those lines were so funny, Fireman's lines. I would show you my backpack, but I don't have it with me right now. So, you, you know, he uses the bomb power to beat Guts Man. So, and then with Guts Man's power, he beats Cut Man. Yes. Cut man has terrible cut puns. And like there's Dr. Why he's like all like ha 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 Yeah. And I didn't get stage part three, I thought it said stage. Cause it said oh. I don't even know why I think it said stage. Oh my god. Yo I'm gonna turn the TV off, kinda of distracting me. Three minutes, seven minutes left. Okay, I'm gonna go through this, cause, you know. The birthday one. I got this for my 10th birthday. And it's really cool, cause it's issue number 10. And it's like, happy 15th anniversary, uh, we're going to release Sonic 06. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> Egg X instead of FedEx, that's funny. So, like, Happened to Sonic, I don't get it, okay. So pretty much, they're all, they're trying to find if there's still a barrier between their worlds to get back.
So. And it's weird because Sonic just somehow gets to Green Hill Zone. And he's like, well, this place looks familiar. And like, cool, he gets three rings. He's like, what are these? Gets hit by a moto, motor bug. Loses him. And uh, frees an animal from it. Just like in the first game. And then while in the real world, Eggman's flying his, the, you know, the Egg Carrier! That's so funny when he says it in Sonic Adventure. And like, he's all holding Emerald's head, because it just got beat. Yeah. Oh, they're advertising Mario in a Sonic book! Ha oh, ha! Take that! And, uh, yeah. Sonic does the loop the loop gets rings and you know he gets a shield so he gets to the boss and he sees Dr. Eggman but the weird thing is is that Sonic thinks he's it's weird cuz Eggman's just laughing and not taunting him or anything. So, so you, you know, you know, he, you know, he goes to Marble Zone. He's like, well, how did I get here, too? You know, he goes through it, beats the Catacillers, and, um, he frees Amy. So after he does that, the weird thing is, is that they're all Amy's all talking about there's a barrier there, like you know, in the game, so can't go back. So they beat Doctor Robotnik again, and then they go to Spring Yard Zone. I think it's called Spring Yard. I think, yeah, pretty sure. And like, yeah, and then when while Chris is looking for Sonic, he finds out that the Master Emerald and Knuckles are gone. And while running around Spring Yard Zone, <coughs> ew, I sneeze. While running a yard around Spring Yard Zone, they run into Knuckles and fall off a cliff, you know. I don't really have what happens after this. I really should. But, you know, I'm so glad I at least finished something. Uh-huh. It's all pretty cool, the art for this. But okay, it's 8.40 on my time of this video. Okay, well, see ya.